These are the most emotional moments in football history. Helicopters just crashed next to the stadium. I'm literally getting goosebumps. Everything. And first, what happened to one of Man City's biggest fans wasn't just a tragedy. It created one of the most heartbreaking games in their club's history. This is Millie Rose, and as you can see, she was always supporting Man City, especially their star player Phil Foden. Until out of nowhere, she was rushed to the hospital and forced into an emergency surgery. Doctors realized she was suffering from a serious condition where an infection was causing all of her organs to completely shut down. And unfortunately, they couldn't save her. So news broke that she passed away. The innocent little girl was only six years old. So when Man City's club heard the news, they not only announced that their next game was in her honor, at the sixth minute, they held a round of applause for her. And as emotional as that was, the biggest moment of the day came when her favorite player, Phil, knew he had to personally show her his appreciation by doing this. Comes in, keeps on coming in, keeps on coming. That is a brilliant goal. One of the best of the season. Phil Foden drifted in from the right-hand side. Now, after scoring an insane goal that he knew even Millie would be proud of, Phil celebrated with his squad, then pointed to the sky and kissed his hands. Then after the match, Phil made things official by posting pics of the moment for millions of people to see, just so we could say, that one was for you, Millie Rose. Man, you gotta respect Phil for that. But one of football's most heartbreaking things to ever happen is when a helicopter took off from this football stadium and crashed. The moment right there led to news that shocked the world. The BBC has been told the owner of Leicester City Football Club was on board the helicopter that crashed and burst into flames just minutes after taking off from the King Power Stadium last night. It turned out, as the team's owner was leaving the stadium, everything was going smoothly until the helicopter got slightly above the top of the roof. A piece of the helicopter called the control shaft, which keeps the helicopter balanced, completely broke and caused it to spiral out of control until it crashed. The scene was brutal, and everybody on board, including the owner, two members of his staff, and two pilots, were all killed. This wasn't a moment that fans wanted the world to ever forget. So they showed their support for the victims by placing memorials for them outside the stadium, and some even got emotional when they talked about the tragedy. It's just, just terrible because they're such nice people. They're really genuine, humble people that care for the community, and for the club and the people. It's just, it's just terrible. Just thoughts of everybody on board, you know, the pilots, the, the family, everybody. It's just the thoughts are for them and their families, really, first thing. Now, you could just tell in their voices how devastated they felt about the situation. It wasn't just the fans who were affected by it, though. Leicester's star player, Jamie Vardy, he couldn't help but cry when he dropped flowers off at the memorial. Then the entire organization did something special at their next game by raising banners in the crowd, showing an emotional tribute on the big screen where fans were tearing up, and they even had a moment of silence. So of course all the players were crying before the match, but everything kind of turned out exactly what the fans hoped for. When a Leicester player scored their only goal, he honored the owner during his celebration. 55 on the clock, and how much does this goal mean? to Damari Gray and Leicester City Football Club. And this finally gave everybody a reason to smile because it also led to their squad winning. Things were still emotional though, especially afterwards when everybody hopped on a plane to fly 6,000 miles to their owner's birthplace in Bangkok for his funeral. So obviously, here's where things got extra emotional as the players all hugged the owner's son and surrounded the situation in prayer. Now, that's sad, and to this day, I still can't believe it even happened. But I bet this crazy fan isn't sad about Lionel Messi's most emotional moment, because Messi tearing up nearly made them a million dollars. It sounds ridiculous, I know. But it's all because this press conference was the toughest thing Messi had ever been through. Here's where Messi was going to make things official, that after nearly two decades of being with his Barcelona club, he was being forced to leave them. So obviously Messi's emotions leaked all over the interview. Literally. Which is why his wife handed him a tissue that he used over and over and over again. Eventually though, he made it through. 
but little did he know that tissue was gonna make so many headlines. It turned out, a man who was there watching Messi's emotional interview somehow managed to get the tear-soaked tissue, then posted it for sale on eBay, asking for a million dollars. What's even crazier is that the man claimed it was worth that much, all cause it had Messi's genetics on it, which could be used to clone a legendary player like himself in the future. Dude was tripping for that, but one of Messi's biggest fans who was also a model, actually bid over $800,000 just because she planned on posing naked with the tissue. Now, I'm not gonna act like I wasn't trying to see that. It's still definitely gross though, and proves these girls will do anything for clout. But what if I told you another football star's most heartbreaking moment came because of some ski-ass criminals? On Instagram, Jack Grealish made an interesting post where the pic itself didn't seem like anything too emotional, it was just him and his dog looking happy as can be. But in the caption, it revealed something horrifying. It revealed that criminals had their eye on Jack for a while, cause there's been plenty of pictures of him floating around the internet flexing some of the most expensive watches in the world. Paddocks, Rolexes, pretty much in any single pic you see of him, he's got something valuable on his wrist, which is why his entire collection was worth over a million dollars. But that's only the first thing the criminals noticed. Jack made even more headlines when he upgraded to a brand new mega mansion. And this place wasn't just ridiculous already. Jack had planned to renovate it to make it even crazier, so the blueprints of the ins and outs of the crib got leaked. And that's why the criminals had no problem tracking down its exact location in England, where they planned to strike. December 27th, 2023 was the day, all because they knew Jack would be away playing a football match against Everton. While he was on the field, the criminals pulled into Jack's neighborhood, broke inside, and even though it set off all the alarms, they fled the scene with his entire million dollar watch collection. Police rushed to the scene, a helicopter flew over the area, and the situation turned into an all-out investigation. But even though all of that made the story go viral enough to make its way all over the news, somehow the criminals got away and there were no leads. So all Jack could really do was make a devastating Instagram post where he said, I can't begin to explain how devastated I am over the burglary that took place in my home a few days ago. This has been a traumatic experience for all of us, and I'm just grateful that nobody was hurt. I've had so many amazing experiences and achievements over the last 12 months, but to be honest, the best year of my life in football now doesn't even feel like something I can celebrate. The people that commit these terrible crimes have no idea the damage they cause to people's lives. I, I just hope they are found and brought to justice so no other family has to go through what we have. Man, shout out to Jack for staying strong. But listen. Not every emotional moment a football player deals with has a sad ending, cause what started off as a childhood tragedy for Kevin De Bruyne is actually the only reason he was motivated to become one of the biggest football stars in the world. Kevin was just a kid who grew up playing football and dreamed of going pro. Problem was that this small city of Belgium is where he lived and since it wasn't anywhere close to big name football programs that would help him accomplish his goal. He was kind of forced to make a tough decision that eventually became one of the most heartbreaking things a kid could deal with. Well, I, mo I moved away from my parents when I was 14. First year I was in that big school where you sleep overnight with uh, every people and then luckily the second year I went to foster parents. I thought everything went alright, in the end of the year I'm fine, people never had to go to school for problems, discipline, I'm fine. The year is over. I say goodbye to the, to the foster parents. I come home and my parents were like sad, crying and I'm like, what's wrong? Uh, the, the foster parents don't want you to come back anymore. I'm like, why? Because of who you are. I'm like, what? Yeah, you're difficult to handle, you're very quiet. The kids who were there, it's very difficult to interact. They just find you difficult. Yeah. It's not nice to hear because in the end, I'm just a quiet person, shy person, and that's been given to me as difficult. So in the end, you're like, uh, I was going to my l last year of school, so turning 17, and I was going to the second team of gang. And I said to my parents, in two, two months time, I will be in the first team. And after one month of preparation, I'm in the first team. Conversation, I think, beginning of the, the season, somewhere in August with the mother. The mother came there because obviously she had the other people coming there and she started to explain, yeah, but we wanted you to go to the, the boarding school and then in the weekend you can come. And I just said at that time, I'm like, you don't want me. I don't care. I don't care about you guys anymore. You know, I was nice to you 
You didn't have the decency to say it. I'm 17 years old, I will say it to your face, I don't like you anymore. From that point on, it kind of seemed like Kevin was not only sacrificing, but going harder than ever just to prove to that family they messed up by giving up on him. The motivation definitely helped though, because Kevin eventually made his way to one of the most famous clubs in the world, Man City, where he not only became a great player, what he started accomplishing had the whole world learning his name. He became a player of the year two times. He started setting football records. A little bit of space out wide for De Bruyne. De Bruyne now with a bending cross. Holland! 1-0 City! De Bruyne gets his 100th Premier League assist. Of course he does. Scoring crazy goals. Onto De Bruyne. Shooting chance. What a strike. What a strike. Mance was winning more tournament trophies than I can even count, and he eventually became so great, he finished third in Ballon d'Or voting, which meant he was officially one of the best football players on the entire planet. I bet that family regrets breaking Kevin's heart now. But alright, now that we have time for one more emotional moment, how about something so heartbreaking, it even made the toughest football player in history tear up. Just honestly, take a look at Zlatan Ibrahimovic, man. Uh, yeah. You'd never expect a man who's covered in crazy tattoos, works out like he's training to become a gladiator, plays so hard he sometimes injures players, or even films commercials in hell, would ever be vulnerable enough to let the world see him cry. But what happened between him and his AC Milan club made it happen. Ever since Zlatan started playing for them, he was always a fan favorite because of ridiculous plays like these. and the fact that he helped carry the squad to titles they hadn't seen in a decade. What was happening here was more than just football for him though. The area he played in was even more important to him, so he donated hundreds of thousands of his own dollars to help out the community, and was even the face of fundraisers for local hospitals, which helped him raise over a million dollars. Everything Zlatan was doing off the field, uh, on the field, for his teammates, and for his fans, made him an AC Milan icon. Eventually though, the time came that all fans were scared of. Zlatan reached an age where it was time to let football go. And that's why AC Milan planned one big special event for his retirement that left an entire stadium emotional. As he walked onto their pitch for the last time, fans already started bawling their eyes out. Then when he was presented with a jersey signed by all of his teammates, not only did his wife and hundreds of other fans like the one with the Zlatan tattoo start crying, even Zlatan himself just couldn't hold back his tears as he said goodbye. 